can, uh, question here, John Leeson, obviously, has been with us today. Um, lots of questions about your real feelings for K9. <laughs> <laughs> John Leeson, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When, uh, when the K9 came, I always thought, uh, probably mistakenly, but I thought, you know, to do it, uh, modern technology, joking technology, and that. Um, that <laughs> It was to do with, with merchandise, I thought. I, I have no I'm just telling you what I thought. When we started the rehearsal, of course, the dog wasn't there. Um, but John was there, John Lisa was there, playing K9 and saying these lines. And the thing is, you know, he could, um, he could he'd get down on the floor, and other times, I suppose, he'd let him kill him and stand up. <laughs> and I suddenly thought, he's playing it so exquisitely, you know? It broke your heart. But, you know, a, a, a machine like that, cannot break your heart because you couldn't see his face, you can't see it, it's just a voice coming out of the box. So I said, well, why don't we give John a suit, you know, a dog suit? I got some whiskey for some. And then I don't have to get down on my hands and knees every time we do a two shot. But why can't we have a John? Why can't John actually step? be a dog that walks on his hind legs. <laughs> and every now and then we could have a joke, you know, when I could actually walk around on all fours and the dog could walk around on his hind legs. <laughs> they said, don't be silly, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't watching John, uh, John and I'm not the only one to get around, I'm expressing the popular feeling. The, the, the other actors all felt like that. There was, a, there was this element of sweetness uh, and concern that a mechanical toy can't do. Uh, and so therefore, I felt that they wasted it. Well, John didn't stay to the end. He went off and someone else took it over. Because it was merely a voice. It was a waste of John, John Leeson's uh, wonderful gift of, you know, of sincerity and, and, and fun. And it could have been such a hoot, couldn't it? Yeah. It could have been an absolute scream of a dog walking around and tying it. Oh, my dog walks on the hind <laughs> I was going to say the other day, the woman, I left the dog with a woman. And uh, she said, I say, Tom, your dog's very affectionate. <laughs> I said, really? Why is that so, uh? She said, well, she said, I was talking to her, and she was looking at me, and she kept looking out the window, wondering where you were. And then suddenly she jumped up, and she put her arms around my neck. I said, her arms? I said, you mean her legs? Well, she said, yeah, but you can't say that, can you? I mean, I can't say she suddenly put her legs around her. There's another thing that makes a lot of going round. You know, in other words, you know what I mean. And it is true, my little dog does jump up sometimes and try and get her legs around her. God, she's wonderful. <laughs> Actually, I think I should go home, you know, because the dog would be feeding. <laughs> Is there anything else? No, we have actually come to the end of our show for today, so thank you all for coming. <laughs> <laughs>